Alright, welcome. This is a game, a scrimmage game between the Ludrow Falcons and the Woodstock Centaurs. Centaurs, yes. Uh, this is on a map on Hanamura, or at least the first map is, and cent Centaurs are going to be starting off in the defense side, while the Falcons will be playing on offense for the first round. So yeah, uh, this is the first point, as you can see, and they're just organizing their comp. Uh, the comps and compositions. So Woodstock is currently running a default 222 composition with their Mercy and Zen on support, the tanks being Vine and Diva, and their uh, DPS being McCree and Junkrat. Junkrat being able to hold off some nice choke points that they can definitely work with, and McCree uh, to make use of this open space in the, co the courtyard right here. And just to stay back and you know pick off the Ludwow players. So yeah, and um, Ludwow they're still deciding on their third pick, but on uh, their final pick. But it seems like they're also gonna be running a two-two-two comp with um, a bit more aggressive. Though they have uh, the Reaper, Moira, Lucio, both uh, characters that are very you know kind of aggressive and can push out very easily. Especially with Lucio, who can just speed boost his entire team into the point. Um, we have pick least best over here, playing a very aggressive position, trying to get a pick maybe at the very beginning of the game, but nope, not being able to. And, okay, wow, might be going down by zoom, but obviously, okay. So Ludwow has actually noticed that their junk wrap for Woodstock is behind them, so they're trying to capitalize this and move right on the point, knowing that they'll be taking a 6v5 fight over here. But, oh wow, okay, with some pretty good aggression, what, uh, Woodstock was able to actually hold them back, but that might not be the case anymore since their Ryan just got uh, picked off by charging in and being a bit too greedy. And yeah, okay, so Ludrow is now moving in faster and faster. Uh, they took down their McCree and they're taking down the Zen, obviously, um, and they've already taken control of the point. They've already pushed off Woodstock off the point and they're working on it. And wow, they're completely staggered. They just in a quick, very strong push on the Falcon side, and they've managed to already take over the first point and yeah Woodstock is actually focusing on just second point def defense at this point very well played by the Falcons definitely capitalizing on the extreme overextension of pick uh, pick least best and moving it onto the point uh, taking the 5v6 fight and wow all right and they seem to be doing the same thing again they're rushing in once more but and they managed to get the first pick on Embazlin uh, blocking. Oh, but Embelezen's getting vis by. Uh, okay, Deep Results going down. Deep Results going down. Only managed to pick off two players, actually. Uh, their Widow and Zen. And wow. Alright, this is just being a complete wipe at this current moment. Yeah. Alright, Mercy all alone trying to defend the point a bit, but looks like Falcons already have the second point. And yeah, oh, one contestor. But that's it. And wow, in a really quick round, Falcons have managed to take the map. Just, well, this round at least, taking both points and ooh, getting a 0-2 uh, lead on the Woodstock centers. It's very good, and they have 6 minutes and 15 seconds remaining. That's very impressive performance on the Falcon side. Now the s teams are switching up. The Centaurs are going to be on offense while the Falcons are on defense, and we'll see how well they can work with this, actually. Um, Centaur, they're working on their team comp, deciding what would be best to, you know, actually manage to win. While the um, Falcons, they've already decided on a... Also another 2-2-2, this time a bit more passive. They're using Lineth on the McCree, being able to take control of this courtyard. Trying something similar as Centaur's was. Same thing with Zoom. Maybe Zoom, or hopefully for Falcons. Zoom will not be as aggressive as Pickley's best was on Centaur's defense round, because that's what really, you know, put them at disadvantage very early on. If Zoom just stays back and, you know, is able to rotate back into the point, or at least into the courtyard with the rest of his team, he can definitely help defend any Centaur pushes. And talking about Centaur pushes, it seems like Centaur is actually going for a uh, dive comp right here, with uh, Lucio able to, you know, being able to speed boost, uh, Tracer for backline harassment, and, you know, the typical dive tanks of Winston and D.Va being picked here. So definitely an interesting idea. They're moving around. Um, yeah, they'll just be going in, definitely trying to rush 
uh, Falcons, but it seems like, yeah, Falcons, they're, um, for centers to really pull off a rush, they're going to have to go into the courtyard and jump in, and, uh, the Falcons, they're not really overextending, they're actually mm -hmm. staying back, even, um, the Junkrat Zoom is actually just keeping an eye on this point right here, so if any Winston or, you know, the Diva tries going in there, he can totally just blow them back with the concussion mine and make quick work of them. So yeah, and, um, CV CVCK right here, just pulling him back out, and, okay, wow. Oh, wow, he's already got emblazoned, so that's, uh, the main shield for Centaur is already out. And, yeah, they're just holding back, they can't really push in with that, and just already done. Uh, the first push for Falcons is already out of the question. And, along with that, Stevie CK just managed to take out Havocor, staggering, uh, his spawn. So now, Falcons are gonna have to wait for him if they want to get a speed boost in there. And pick least best, just got picked off as well, wow, Stevie CK. Definitely doing some good work for the Falcons here. Just, you know, preventing any sort of organization uh, the centers can throw at them. And, you know, organization the centers are trying to pull off to make a good push in the first minute of the game. Of the round. So, yeah. Um, they're just kind of waiting. Centers are just waiting for the respawns. Uh, wow. Oh, my God. That pick just forced center to wait once more. They got to wait more to get uh, their tracer back online. Uh, this is killing time, this is eating up time. They already had 2 minutes 40 seconds. About this time last round, uh, the Falcons were already in the courtyard pushing in. So, yeah, uh, all right, centers are making a move. Uh, the tracer has come back in and they've already lost their D.Va mech. Maybe D.Va trying to get their ult back and their Winston's getting picked off maybe. Oh no, Anna manages to throw down her healing quickly. But still, both the Tracer and Winston on Centaur's team, along with the Soldier, have have been picked off, completely shutting down that push and keeping the Falcons at the same exact position as they started their game. We have two minutes on the clock now, and the Centaurs have not managed to get in any ground. And we see Zoom using his ult, just trying to hold them back even more, picking off Anna, forcing the Centaurs to once again wait again. So, yeah, this is... Oof, a bit sloppy here on the part of uh, Centaurs, you know, kind of just letting the, their players kind of just peek and get killed by the Falcons. Not very great. Uh, D.Va trying to come in there at the list, but not really making much work with that. Zoom is still trying to get there. Uh, it seems like uh, the Tracer, Surik, is actually making a you know, distraction on the point, maybe allowing Centaur to go in, but Falcon is not, ha is not actually falling for that. They're still maintaining their positioning, and... Uh, the Tracer is still on point, but nope, never mind, you guys picked off by the McCree, and back here at the same choke, uh, Orisa has her ult down, so, and, alright, Roadhog's using his ult, picking off many players, Junkrat over here, trying to push him back, but, you know, even the, the Centaurs right now are playing at a farther position than they initially were, and, well then, <laughs> Falcons is just playing very, very passively, and just making sure that they're holding their chokes very well, not letting themselves uh, get to get split up. And yeah, this is very good on their part, actually. Oh, wow, look at that pick on the Junkrat. Good, uh, Orisa. You know, bubble. Not bubble. Grab. And, all right. So they're trying to ult in with a uh, nano-boosted Orisa, but with a Discord on her, she can't really move in. And Diva ult actually getting no kills. And then Zoom's ult coming in and taking out the Ana, bringing down the overall healing capabilities of Centaur, and now uh, Orisa goes down their main shield and also their D.Va, and now that push did absolutely nothing with just 15 seconds on the clock. Seri seriously, um, Centaur's got to make something work. Their Mercy on the Falcon side goes down, but she gets immediately traded for uh, pick less best, and it seems like Centaur, they're just not being able to do anything. The Tracer, their only real hope to bring this into overtime is killed, and the High Noon coming in from the McCree, and it's done! It's done, the map is over, and Falcons win with a very impressive hold and a very strong push on the offense. Now with a even better hold, it's just complete wreck, seriously. 0-2, to two. Linus getting to play as Reaper. This is on the point that Reaper, although we saw over there, picking off their healer and Widow from Centaurs. Very, very good, lowering the ability for any discords and uh, healing to be thrown out. So yeah, very... It's a very solid game. Falcon players being the only one to actually get any cards. And, well, uh, universal praise for the Arisa, I suppose. So yeah, that's a very good game. Um, 
So it's down one to zero. Falcons winning. We'll um, we'll see where this goes. We're playing. We're currently playing with the um, week one map pool for this scrim. So I believe the next map might be Ilios. I've not actually checked this. So yeah, I believe. I, I gotta make a quick check if this is being a best of three. Okay, yeah, yeah, good. I thought because they haven't changed from Hanamura. Hanamura? Uh, yeah, Nepal is next. Ah, oh, never mind. I'll, I'll ask them in game. So, yeah, we're entering game. We're going into Nepal, a control map. Traveling to Nepal. A best of three. Yeah, just making sure this to confirm what exactly it is. So, yeah, here's Nepal. We're starting off in the. I never remember the names of these maps. <laughs> I believe a. Temple? Yes, tempo. Well, let's go with that. Uh, or a village. Something like that. I don't know. The one with the hut in the middle. And the closed room. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, both teams starting off. You know. Get it ready. We'll see if anybody decides to take out a dive comp. Which seems to be what Centaur is using on the first time. And also. Also Falcons. Could definitely be that uh, they're both going for a dive comp versus a dive comp. Although Centaur is actually bringing out the Torbjorn. Or not actually. Uh. Oh wait, I just realized I got the teams confused. Sorry, um, blue is the Falcons, on red is the Centaurs, so... Falcons, they're uh, bringing out Dive Comp, pretty traditional. Two flankers this time around, with uh, Tracer and Genji, while there will only be, there will also be two flankers on the Centaur side, but they're only running one healer, that being Lucio, on the Centaur side. But also the Falcons are doing the same, oh no wait, oh no, that was a quick change, sorry. Glacier changed uh, his character, but yeah. and. Yeah, okay, fine. Alright, so it seems like um, Falcons have actually gone against the decision to bring out uh, two flankers and just stick with the Genji. Alright, so Falcon, they're both using the same path. They're both going over here, both players. Over here, The this is the D.Va moving out first for the Fal uh, Centaur side. They're both focusing very hard on this initial attack. There's a trade between the Genji and the Lucio, and now it's apparently 5v5, and but Foodie Memes goes down, bringing it to a, a 5v4 on the, in favor of the Centaurs, actually. And the Centaurs apparently are picking them off. Nobody actually on point yet, even though a point has just opened up, but it seems like, yes, F Centaurs actually winning the first fight and allowing them to take control of the control point for the first, uh, first push. Very well played. Um, just getting the picks and making it work. They still have um, they're kind of just running around. They don't really have anybody really to secure defense on the pay on the payload on the control point, and it doesn't seem to matter. The Falcons are just rushing through the main choke, going in, trying to clear out the players. They got them Arissa on the centaur side, getting the first pick, bringing it to a five v six in favor of Falcons. But wow, we already see the Diva all coming out. Doing just getting Lineth. That's all. That's, that's all that goes down. But brings it back to a five v five, and um, Glacier and Sticky are staying on point, pre preventing any sort of um, you know contestment. And yeah, right now uh, Bla uh, is it currently three v three on the point for uh, the players on. Oh well, the Diva Alt going out for the Falcon side, but uh, it's working. Working. Falcon sees me taking control of the point, pushing. Uh, the Centaur's back, and the Falcon Genji all coming out, just securing the final kills, and Falcon now have control of the point. Very good play, um, of course, uh, Fal Centaurs are going to be able to just group up, make sure that their team are to is together, and can get a push together. So it's not like they're being staggered or anything, and they can make, qu and they can get very, uh, off the point quite quickly, like, they might be able to get there before 30%, and um, if you look at that, they have, they still have 653. Although Genji and okay, they, the Winston manages to stay on Zoom, and we give them the first kick, pick. But the, Winston's down. Main shields for Centaur is down as well. So although Genji all coming out from Centaur's side, going in and oh wait, oh we have a disconnect from the Centaur side. Uh, we don't know. Wait, are we gonna pause the game quickly? Seems like game still being played. Uh, all right, we don't know if it's gonna be paused. I mean, yeah, paused. All right, so who was that that disconnected? Let me just check. Uh, it was have have hey Victor on the player on the um, um, centaur side getting kicked. Um, yeah, getting 
booted off. I don't know what happened. Uh, they're just not there anymore. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but yeah, um, the um, Falcons still have control of the point at 44%, though they still haven't managed to pick up and get past the 53% that the Centaurs have managed to put up before on their first push. So, uh, yeah. And, I mean, the Falcons are do have a lot more alts than um, the Centaurs. The Centaurs only, they're only running two alts at this current moment. Uh, saving two alts. While the um, Falcons have f f uh, four of their alts, and the other two are at 67 and 71 percent. So they're very quick and very soon to, you know, be built up. It's getting back right on now. Uh, now the issue there is that uh, that player will be losing his uh, alt charge. So the alt economy on the center side, it's not not looking too great, really. If um, so for any sort of um push that they can make using any alts. The Falcons can easily counter, and yeah, Snark is a master of waiting. Of waiting, Havocor is back, and the game is being unpaused. And right now, are you good? Everything's good. Um, yeah. So the uh, Centaurs are just grouping up now, and they're making sure that they they get a chance to actually bring it in. They have a. They're using a Reaper now. Definitely, maybe going against that Winston. Right now, they've managed to do some damage towards Lineth. Uh, jump it in, but Zoom uses his ult immediately, trying to get some picks, but does not get a pick there. And, all right, first, um, all right, so it's been traded now 4v2, but now it's 4v4, and the ult for both D.Va ults are going down right now, and neither of them really doing much work. Uh, the D.Va on the Centaur side, on the sorry, Falcon side, they get picked off, but... You know, Centaur aren't really sticking on the point very much, and they weren't able to like capitalize on that push to really get on the point. So no actual uh, build-up percentage uh, takeover has been used. Uh, Reaper's on the point, trying to take out Moira, which he does, and now Genji ult coming out on the side of Falcons, being met with a Winston ult for the Centaurs, and the Genji goes down. Centaurs are taking the point once again. Snark trying to just contest it, but being picked off immediately. The Diva, um, sorry. Diva and everybody else just killing her, and now the control is back towards Centaurs. Though um, the Falcons have managed to actually go to a 99% on their hold, so if um, if they can't make a solid push soon, the Centaurs are very easily going to be able to reach 99% very soon because the charge is building up. So right now in this. Um, Attack! Nobody has gotten pissed, and they're using the Lucy ult to push on point. This could very well work since most of the Centaurs actually just push off, trying to attack them off the point. But the, okay, wow, very effective uh, Vi uh, Reaper ult from Dless because he manages to get three kills off that, taking away half of the team for Centaurs and bringing in a team kill for sorry, Centaurs gets the team kill. Falcons are the one that suffered the team kill. Blue kill, and they're not gonna be able to make. Oh wait. But the Glacier manages to pull out overtime, and I don't know, Moira on the side of... Okay, that Devolt definitely should be able to clear out anybody who comes in, but that Winston ult actually, uh, Winston Bubble, manages to protect the Falcons from that Diva ult, and they are still contesting the point very well. But even then, they still get shut down, can't really manage to hold anything, and the first round of Nepal goes to Centaurs. Very good hold there, just um... Solid, just getting the first picks in almost every fight, and uh, whenever the Falcon managed to get a kill, the Centaurs were able to trade it back out. So, very good play there. So yeah, uh, let's see if they change up their comp for anything right now. Let's just move out. Uh, this is Temple. This is the actual Temple map. Yeah, with a pick. Let's see. If, okay, it seems like uh, the uh, Roadhog is actually coming out for uh, Centaurs. You know, very good. <laughs> Because of this pit right here, Roadhog can actually be quite effective at making efficient picks. And um, the Falcons managed to actually, you know, they decide to do the same thing and make capitalize on that pit, bringing in the Roadhog. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I gotta get through the door. So, yeah. Alright, so Widow also being picked on for um, 
the glaciers. Glaciers, I keep trying to say glaciers. Uh, center side, although she did get immediately picked, trying to be very gr uh, greedy, and also seems like Bliss is actually very greedy. Moving into the same position. Oh wow, most of the Centaur team, almost all their DPS are moving out onto the point, taking control of this ledge here. But while they were doing that, Falcons actually focused on the point and moved right on and taking it quite flawlessly without much contest uh, contesting. So they can just hold on the point. The Centaurs still have control over there in that part of the map, but overall, um, seems like that centaurs have control of the point at this current moment. The Linus, uh, just trying to make sure that uh, uh, Havoc Core doesn't, you know, move around and get a chance. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, Schnark gets boosted off, uh, booped off by the far uh, into the pit, allowing Center to get the first pick. Although, Linus manages to trade her out and get, and also the Diva gets it down. And Linus might be able to give it to the Mercy along with those two kills. Uh, one kill, actually. And, but, and yes, he gets rid of the Mercy, completely just shutting down that Centaur push. Very efficient there. Linus, really pulling through for that. Um, Overbutt, getting in. <laughs> I just, there's no sense. Uh, Overbutt going in, just, but the Rissa right here, Stevie C, CK, just moving up, you, having a good use of shields, just making sure that Centaur doesn't get out of that initial room. So yeah. They have a... Um, Overall, uh, the Rissa on the center side putting down her shield, getting completely destroyed. While the CB Steve CK's shield is still up, they're moving around, taking control of the right-hand side of the point. And we have a Farall coming out, only managing to take out one uh, one tank. So that might be enough. Although it seems like, uh, yeah, who was that? Zoom. Yeah, Zoom tried making use of his ult, though couldn't. And even though um, center is getting a lot of picks. They are, nope, never mind, as I say that, Center managed to take control of the point, completely just separating the Falcon players from everybody else on their own team, and managed to get, managing to get the picks. Very good, uh, that initial far out could have gotten, maybe more kills could have probably gotten that Roadhog, but that initial pick really did help out, since it denied the Falcons any sort of shields. Falcons pushing in now, and uh, they have uh, four, four ults to work with while the Center only have one, Arissa does sign to use his hers right now, and the, the, oh, but this, oh, man, that was, what a fail right there. The Diva ult on the side of the center is just going straight into the pit, not working. Mercy on the center also trying to survive, doesn't really, because none of her teammates are on the ledge to help her out. And now at this current moment, the um, Falcons have control of the point. Move it in. And they still have a good ult economy. They have two ults that they can use to, to secure it. Although, as I say that, <laughs> they've already managed to get to 100%. Very good job. Now we're back to a 1-1 one -one tied on this map from Nepal. And we'll see if Glacier, Glacier, Center manages to, you know, bring it back and tie this series 1-1 one -one if they can, you know, just get this map point. This map. So now we're here at Bell. Oh no, I think this is the one that's called Temple. Then what are the other two, other two called? I just... I'm just not sure. <laughs> I really... I need to learn the name of, names of these. I know the names of the map, not the names of the individual arenas. But yeah, this is... Um, I'm just going to call this Temple. Uh, <laughs> so the team comp's not really changing much. Uh, seems like uh, Falcons are, are going to want to capitalize on the openness of this certain map by picking a far, uh, Farah, just moving around. And yeah, just... Generally the same amount of play players, both teams, nope, just the Centaurs picking a Junkrat just to pick, pick off. And both teams going straight for the point, uh, Mercy getting picked off on the Falcon side, and it seems like, yeah, Falcons Falcons are suffering heavy losses, they both they lost both of their healers at the very start, and, and everybody else is just getting wrecked right now. Uh, yep, Linus take, getting knocked down by Overbutt. And all healing that the Falcons had initially at the beginning of the push, it, it was just shut, shut down. Definitely just that. And the uh, majority of the ults on the Centaur side being built to a very nice degree. Like, as you can see, Overbutt right here, he's got 96%. He's almost got his ult right there. And they have solid control of the point. Uh, seems like Falcons actually moving up here, but they've 
they're, uh, the Sentries has some defense up here, so they know where exactly their Falcons are going to be coming in from. Yeah. Uh, still trying to capitalize, uh, trying to make use of it, though. And uh, they... Is that Sombra? No, that's a Moira over there. And... Yeah, they're just uh, trying to move in, but they're taking a lot of damage, and the DPS and tanks are actually separating from the healers. Diva getting out of her... being kicked out of her mech. Uh, yes, the Moira being taken down. The... This... Uh, yep, everybody's just dying, really. They only... The... Falcons lost their both their tanks and their healer along with Genji while you know just centers lost I believe their Gen no they didn't even have a Genji that was on the Falcon side it was their McCree I believe that they lost there but he's already back and doesn't really change much all right over butt just uh just doing his thing and the Falcons pushing together on the right side of the map trying to move in but the Rhino actually connecting shutting down every single you know movement the team is separating the diva from the rest of her team they were trying to make use of her alt but only really picking off the zarya although at this current moment that does allow falcon to actually take control of the point and they do so quite nicely uh centers was 84 percent but falcons are now actually taking control of it and they uh, seem to be taking a they're not exactly focusing on the point most of their players are right here at this edge while, although that could be very useful because the centers are actually planning to move in right in this corridor. I don't know, I don't think they know about this. Yeah, they have their Lucio going first. Yeah, Lucio, okay, the Lucio's called it now. So they're definitely moving around back to the main choke, knowing that nobody's there, while the Falcons are rushing to just go back in there. But the Falcons are able to just move in, making, uh, defending at that point right here in front. And, uh, but... The Lucio ult for the centers does go down, along with the Moira ult. And, yeah, just... Uh, neither ult really getting any kills or helping them push that much, although, as I say that, the centers are on point, but only two of their players are there. So, and they also do lose their Moira as they push in, along with their McCree. Uh, Zoom is there, but, oof. Alright, it's a 3v4 right now, actually. They managed to... Um, initially at the beginning of the fight, centers actually lost two players, but they managed to pull that back with a respawn, and now the centers have actually gotten back onto the point and manages to just take it over once again. Uh, Falcons initially doing well in that push, but they just couldn't secure the final, uh, not really secure kills, but more so just stay, keep themselves alive. I don't know what was going on with their healers, but overall, uh, centers managed to take it. Um, yes, uh, that Junkrat ult not doing much, and, uh, Tanks going straight for the uh, healers, and but this McCree ult might be able to take out, takes out the Winston. Definitely very important pick. But the Genji ult comes out from Linus, merely getting shut down, and now it's just the Diva and on the point for Falcon, and nothing much else happens. So Center manages to take over this map and brings the series to a one versus one. Very well played. Very solid defense on these points. Just staying on the point it does, you know, really does wonders. That's what it does. That's it's a real simple idea. But Falcon was trying to make get some positions off the point, putting a lot of their players just like in off angles, kind of maybe trying to get uh, centers off off guard. But centers they saw through it. They managed to just rush onto the point and take it over. And when it was their turn to defend, they just stayed put, stayed on the point, and just let the Falcons come to them and even though Falcons did get the first pick on several of those pushes they um, managed to just pull it back out uh, pull back out the centers managed to pull back and just get more kills so yeah uh, we'll be seeing the third and possibly final map of this game <laughs> alright so yeah so the next map I believe is Junkertown? Yeah, I think it's Junkertown. So, good map, so just one versus one. And apparently these people are only practicing for a month. Huh. <laughs> Two seconds. So yeah, and uh, very solid. Just The coordination between both teams, very good. It seems like they're actually sticking together. Uh, centers do tend to get a bit more spread apart. I've noticed they're not exactly as, you know, together as the Falcons are, per se. But still, even then, 
Because as you saw, like in that um, round before on Temple and, and, and Nepal, they managed to. They were kind of more spread out. Like it was more like a, a single file line on the side centers when they were going through like a choke or something. While the Falcons were much more bundled up and just going through there as a group. So yeah. Um, does it tell you? Uh, no, it does not tell you anything about Nepal. So yeah. Alright, seems like both teams are trying to just change their per player profiles to, you know, see who's more organized. Falcons are winning. Winning with that. Uh, so yeah. And quite a spectated match, I see, with uh, three other people looking and watching. So... I don't know if we're going to be starting soon. And <laughs> Okay then. Uh... So, I just want to check. Okay, then. Nice game. Junkertown. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, so, yeah, we're entering the map. Junkertown is a well, quite an open map, actually. Yeah. So, especially at the first point, there's this very large field outside the, you know, the main entrance, the gate. So, these both players can def both teams probably will want to pick some sort of a long-range DPS to capitalize on such. So we'll see. Yep, as I was saying, long-range DPS. The um, red is centaurs, blue is falcons. The centaurs actually... Oh, wait. I don't know if they're joking around with the picks because they have a... Okay, yeah, no, no, no. they're going to stick with the widow. So um, centaurs are actually picking a widow, although they are also picking a torbjorn. Or Bastion. Bastion's a bit more reliable, a bit more mobile, a lot more damage, actually. Um, and we'll see. Alright, so... Ah, once again, another player disconnected. Uh, seems like Falcons, they were actually running a just a basic 2-2-2. Two -two -two. So were the, Fal uh, the Centaurs were also running a 2-2-2. Two -two -two. And, um... Although, at, yeah, yeah. So, Centauri, they're the ones... I believe they're the ones on defense right now. No, they're on offense. Centauri's are on offense first, because... Look for the time. So... They're actually, are they actually going to stick with that Hanzo? That's my question. Because, uh... I don't know. Any close-range attacks... Uh, any close-range, you know, pushes... That Falcon might pu uh, try pushing try doing, if they try doing any of that, uh, Hanzo isn't really going to be able to, you know, take care of that much, uh, very well. And also, uh, Widow won't be able to do that very well either. And, uh, yeah, it seems like, um, Falcons are opting for more mid-range DPS with, uh, Junker, Junkrat, and their McCree. And, which is nice, because there's a lot of, um, opportunities for Junkrat and McCree to actually gain a height advantage over the payload with these, um, catwalks. All over the place on the main map. So yeah, uh, they're gonna be sticking with both teams are taking Arissa's, which is um, for her for her mobile shield. It'll be very good. Bacon Pie is playing uh, as Roadhog, so he'll be able to you know pull people off the p payload and just you know get some picks. Seems like uh, all right. So they're not gonna be playing as aggressively like over here. The the team for Centaurs, they're just moving in. And uh, Falcons, they were taking a more passive route. So yeah, they're just... Uh, Alright, so Centauri's are focusing very heavily on the payload. They're going with Pirate Bastion, actually right here, although... Uh, yep, their Bastion's already been picked off. And their Junkrat for Falcons, Zoom's actually being able to get away with it. Can he get away with it? It seems like he can, because the Mercy is focusing heavily on him. Although, yeah, they're staying alive. And the first pick goes to Falcon. The, and that's the Rissa on Centaur, so they don't really have any shields to defend themselves if they got a point. Uh, that failed Roadhog hook, not doing much. Bastion trying to get a good angle, but not really, because uh, the Falcon team is trying is actually making very good use of these uh, angles and the cover provided by these buildings. Although they have just let Centaur take control of the payload once again. And kind of backing off to the next choke. But, oh, Roadhog, make by going down. And the Bastion's finally been able to set up behind the Rissa shield. Definitely a very strong combo. We'll see if Bacon Pie actually manages to get around. Yeah, no. But Zoom gets picked off, and so is the Zenyatta on the 
Falcon side, so and the whole Falcon team is caught behind the payload, so Centaur is definitely gonna be able to make it and just bring the payload over to the first point. So yeah, very good play right here on the on the side of uh, Centaurs, just letting them you know, take control. That's pretty good. Yeah, Baker probably getting picked off, just staggering them actually. So uh, Falcon is actually gonna have to wait a while to get their whole team, you know, back and up, up and running. As you can see, they're still waiting for people coming out of spawn, and they're actually coming out. Pointed. This is similar to, as to what Falcon did to Centaur on the Hanamura map. They managed to stagger them on while they were playing offense and just completely ruined their defense. And the same exact thing is being ha is happening to them. Although Zoom's ult might be able to do something here, unless it, okay, wow, takes out the ba Bastion. Definitely just that's the very crucial player uh, pick on the Centaur's comp because now they can't really take control of the payload and. Conversely, Falcons have actually managed to take control of the payload. They're sitting on it, and um, yeah, they're using their Vista shields just to defend all the DPS. And it seems like Marissa and both Marissa, Marissa, Mora and both tanks are the only ones surviving. Although Bastion not really doing much, getting pushed back by the Junkrat on Falcon. And okay, we'll see who lives here. Seems like uh, no picks have been actually been taken yet, and Foody Memes is still alive, though Centaur has managed to pull push back. Falcon to a farther defensive point, and Centaur has actually managed to uh, set up their uh, Bastion pirate. Ah, oh, sorry, Bastion pirate ship once again, and yeah, very effectively, they're back in the game, and they've managed to get to the second point with uh, quite a bit of time to spare actually. And Bastion's actually moving out. I don't know what he's doing right now. He's kind of moving in, being hyper aggressive, which I don't. I don't think that's a good move really. He's about to run into Junkrat here. He's gonna want to jump back. If uh, Falcons could actually pick off Bastion right now, they could probably get a bit of an advantage. But nope, Zoom gets picked off first in this engagement, and so far uh, Centaur is doing it. Actually, the ult on the Bastion ult from Pickle's best is actually going down, and manages to, and he manages to pick up Linus, and might be able to get Glacier. Yes, he does. He gets Glacier, uh, and although Linus is Vez, the Glacier goes down, and now half of the healing on the Falcon side is just gone. And they're still pushing the payload quite effectively. Everything's going, basically going very well for Centaur right now. Uh, they're taking down their Vista Shields because um, CBCK's, no, Snarks, sorry. Snarks' shields are just not lasting very long. Most of the team, even though they have a better alt economy right now, they got more alts. Um, Falcons, the players are just being, uh, you know, completely just staggered right now. And they can't really make, mu make much use of anything. Uh, Zoom might want to pop his ult the moment he gets here, but they're going to need Snark to just contest it. Alright, the, the ult comes out of Bacon Pie trying to push everybody off, but and Glacier Zen trying to keep everybody alive. And it's working, actually. They managed to push everybody off, but Z Glacier Zen just ended. Uh, Lynith and Glacier got pulled out, and I believe that's... No, that's not Zooms. That's uh, Strider's ult. Manage comes out and picks off Glacier. Now, alright, even though they only have Bacon Pie on the point defending it, uh, Foodie Means is up here, but it, she isn't really focusing on Bacon Pie. He's just letting Bacon Pie take control of everything. Zoom's ult managed to take out uh, Anna and the Dragon Blade from Linus, taking out both Moira and, um, you know, Orisa. Completely taking. Yeah, this is definitely <laughs> not good. Overbutt here gets killed, and now Falcons have full control of the payload. I don't know why. Uh, seems like. Okay, yeah, that's a smart, smart move on Linus. He's not taking the fight there. Definitely would die. Pick least, less best has been taken down. So, uh, so if Center want to take like any sort of uh, effective push, they're gonna need a way for him. The Bastion, uh, the Bastion, the Junkrat on the side of Center is still uh, just being hyper aggressive. So, if uh, Falcons manage, to, they manage to pick him off, they could, you know, stagger the glaciers. Glaciers. The centers once more. So yeah. Um, playing very heavily around this rotating platform. And Zoom just got picked off. But Zoom's ult actually managed to take out both the Bastion and Ana on the center side. Although he gets traded back. And alright. So this is very interesting. Right now uh, center is taking control of the point with Moira and their Roadhog. But Falcons are actually still 
contesting it quite strongly, and Lineth is actually doing a good job just harassing the, the players on the payload and just taking out the damage. Maybe, but he, okay, he does get picked off by the Bastion, and Bacon Pie as well. They both get killed by the Bastion, and Mercy is taken down, and the Roadhog on, on uh, Centaur's team, they both manage to take it. The ult coming out from Centaur is just clearing out the payload and allowing them to just go in and push the payload. Although, Snark is still on the point, contesting, and everybody else, Dragon Blade coming out from Falcons, trying to get rid of uh, the Junkrat, and it does, but that's basically all it kind of does. Uh, Anna still in the back line, just uh, trying to heal her teammates, but not really doing very well. Orisa being forced to move back if she wants to live. Or Moira is also forced back, and once again, Falcons have control of the payload. Okay, then. So, is anybody actually moving in? Alright, so, nobody is. Lineth is just moving around. Yeah, as I was saying beforehand, Centaur's team, they're kind of all spread out while Gla uh, Falcons are actually focused on the point quite nicely, so... Yeah, no, this isn't... Okay, the ult comes in. Nano boosted Bastion coming in. I don't know if that, was a be if that was intentional or not. He's trying to make quick work, but doesn't actually manage to get any kills with that nano boost. Although, Fudimines and Shnark both get taken down, and the ult from Zoom also gets taken down, and nobody here is contesting the point from... Uh, Falcons, aside from Linus, I believe. Although Linus gets taken down, and Center is finally with. Never mind. <laughs> Schnark contesting the point once more. Linus, um, Linus coming in as well, and Mer uh, the Alt coming in from the Mercy. All right, Falcons are just feeding into the point, trying to stall as long as they can. But uh, Center manages. They manage to actually take the point with 17 seconds remaining. Very close, they could have probably gone in there uh, very quickly and had like, I don't know, maybe two minutes left. Because that's where they were by the time they got to that point. But Falcon managed to pull it back at the end, probably because of their uh, spawn location. And they managed to go in and completely stop any sort of uh, immediate win on the center side. So now it's uh, sides of switching, centers are on defense, Falcon's on offense, and we're back to the start. Let's see if any uh, composition changes take place. We'll be looking at... Um, I think interesting. Oh, okay then. Um, the centers are actually taking uh, Sombra out, which is very good. I haven't seen her at all during this game, and she's very powerful right now with her current uh, hacking ability. I believe at like 1.6 seconds or some cr something crazy like that. Very, very quick hack, just shutting down any ability-based heavily um, heroes that are very heavily de dependent on their abilities, which appear to be the heroes that Falcon are actually picking with their Zen and Roadhog and. Arissa being picked on the Falcon side. So Centaur picking that Sombra, definitely, they could, that's a good pick. That's a very good pick. That can very much shut down a lot of uh, possible strategies that the Falcons deploy. Aside from the Sombra, also, another thing, since this map is very big and open, Sombra can go in and hide or behind any of these buildings and you know be able to escape from the Falcons' attack very quickly. Although, on this defense, it seems like the Centaurs are being very aggressive with their tanks, but their uh, healers don't actually have a nice line of sight on them, so this could cause an issue. They're kind of separated, so if uh, Falcons just manage to like jump and rush the healers, maybe also the Hanzo, uh, the tanks could probably do nothing about it, be completely isolated, and they could uh, Falcons just have to, could have their DPS take care of the tanks. Although, that's not really the case. They are taking, uh, Falcons are taking care of the tanks right now. The Orisa here fighting it. Moira decided to come in and try to defend them, although she gets picked along with Orisa. And, uh, yeah, Schnark trying to just get some cover. But, yeah, the Falcons managed to take quick control of the payload, although nobody's pushing it right now. And, yeah, no, they're just, this first push, they managed to take it. It goes the way of uh, Falcon. Managed to just be very efficient in their killings. That I believe, I strongly believe that it was uh, the Centaur's spread out uh, positioning that really screwed them over there. Because the Falcons were able to just rush in and, and isolate just the Orisa and the Moira and take both of them out quite nicely. And it just. And uh, other healers were unable to, you know, help out at all. So yeah. Uh, okay. Junkrat managing. Although. Falcons, uh, the centaurs are able to co go in, and wow, as I was saying, the centaurs actually rush the point 
quite nicely and oh I'm sorry uh, by the use of their more I think it was yeah it was definitely was the Sombra that was actually very useful as I was saying the Sombra managed to hack I think the Orisa and Roadhog shutting down their abilities and enabling the rest of the team to actually get any kills also talking about Sombra she has her ult up right now and she's immediately hacking the Roadhog preventing him from doing anything don't know if that's really necessary uh Overbutt isn't actually doing anything maybe have Kate no he's not never mind everything's good and yeah okay Centaur they're now playing much closer they have Ryan now which is definitely a good luck My, uh, will allow them to you know be a bit more grouped up and when they're grouped up have better defenses although yeah both healers are behind Ryan but not their DPS the Junkrat over here is kind of just running around towards the left side trying to fight the both tanks from the Falcon team and Sombra around just going around backline harassing Zoom's ult gets shut down by Overbolt Overbutt, definitely a very good pick on Overbutt's side. And he also manages to kill Zoom in the end anyways. So that's very good. Really shut down. Now let's see if Overbutt can actually make use of his ult. Although most of the Falcon team is down. And it uh, seems like he wasted. Although he does manage to get Glacier. Forcing them to stag the spawns to stagger on the Falcon side. So yeah, that's a very good, very good hold on the center side. Gla uh, pickless best playing Widow and actually getting the pick on Bacon Pie. All right, wow, they're staggering their alt, their spawns quite nicely, and uh, yeah, their picks very solid on the uh, for glacier, uh, glacier for centaur. Although I will say they're making the same mistake again. Most of their team are is spread out, like they've already lost two players just from them overextending. So now it's already a four v five, and the uh, falcons have barely had to push. Also remember, Falcon spawn, the Falcons are playing much closer to their spawn, so any loss the Falcons suffer will not be nearly as bad as uh, Centaurs. Also, talking about losses, uh, that McCree ult are not actually doing much, uh, but Fruity Mean is picking off Overbutt, so that's still a kill. Although, Glacier gets picked off, and their healing ability of Falcons do, does go down. And Embazzles, Basilene's ult manages to connect with the majority of of the Falcon team and yeah uh, the centers are actually taking control of the payload once again although never mind <laughs> uh, Rissa and the Moira from Falcons they do manage to survive and they are taken and they have taken control of the payload once again so it does definitely seem like the Falcons are gonna be able to bring this payload to the first point unless if uh, the centers actually are able to organize themselves and get a very nice push in the next five seconds <laughs> So, not really. Uh, the ult coming out from Bacon Pie. And although, as I say that, seems like uh, Lineth taking out a lot of players. Zen ult being popped, that, Gen that Junkrat ult not doing much. And yeah, no, Falcons definitely, they definitely have this point down. But once again, they, they're on overtime, so they're only going to get like uh, two minutes and a half uh, at the moment that they take this over. Exactly. So, yeah. But definitely well played there. Um, Falcons, they manage to just stick control and stay on the point and just very much, they were able to reverse their, initially they were staggered by uh, centaurs, but then they managed to do the reverse to the enemy and they managed to get some, they got control of the payload. Pickley's best over here, trying to get some picks. Uh, I think her ult, no, her ult does not go down. And, yeah, nothing much happens. Um... Over here, Zoom just dealing with uh, the spamming right into that uh, choke over there. And Linus actually getting a pick on piece, uh, pick less best. And yeah, uh, another combat, um, you know, s battle here. Linus popping his ult, trying to get a kill here. Might not be able to do much. He's focusing on the Rhine, so not really doing much. Although, uh, most of the Falcon team just got hacked. And. I mean, the Falcon team actually are suffering a lot of losses. Bacon Pie here, only one really on the payload. And even though it's only Overbutt and Havocor that's actually trying to deal with him, the Sombra comes out and he gets picked off in the end. So Falcons, the centers have managed to take control of the payload right now. And now the Falcons have to come back and reclaim what's theirs. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's see how the centers are doing. Because most of the time... Almost through this entire game, they've been, uh, whenever they get a chance to actually play on the defense and establish themselves, they've been playing far out. But it seems like they're, 
you know, doing a better job now. Uh, I don't know where, where Saka is, but... Uh, yeah, Saka is running around, so he's still far away from the team. But the rest of the center of the team is actually still playing together and huddling up, which is very good because uh, that lets them make most use of the Reinhardt. Although Linus tries coming in, they all dive in. The entire Falcon team dives in to try to uh, split it apart the center defense. And it does, actually. Most The center team is actually completely split up. And even though it's currently a 5v5, the Falcons have actually taken control of the point again, and they've allowed Bacon, although never mind, uh, Overbutt managed to take out Bacon Pie, and the, the healing provided by Havoc uh, gets uninterrupted and allowing and allows um, the center of Diva to actually make use of it. And now there's only 10 seconds left for Falcons to actually get it to the second point, which if they don't, you know, <laughs> the center manages to win this series. Let's see, uh, Zen Alt coming out on the Falcon side, moving in, uh, and also Linus popping his Genji ult taking out both Embazzling and the Ana. The Diva ult coming from the, uh, the center side, but gets blocked by Bacon Pie's uh, shield. Technically, best managed to pick off Linus, but will be killed by Bacon Pie. And Skeletal trying to contest it, just trying to bring the least amount of uh, attention, but gets noticed. And Falcon managed to bring their cart all over to point number two. Um. Okay, very open position. On, oh, wow. Oh, that's how I wanted to spectate. Uh, Free memes over here. The alts on the Falcon side are halfway through pick it up. And Linus had a disconnect. Wow, this is getting being plagued by uh, <laughs> disconnects right now. Don't you just love North uh, Northeasterns? Just a great, great weather. Very, very much. Tower issues, yeah. Yeah, Fairfield County has been hit by a um, nor uh, northeastern right now, and it's been very rough. A lot of snow. I don't know how many inches. I think. Let me just check on the weather. I guess it's somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, five, I believe. Let me check. It's currently uh, heavy snow. All right, yeah. Uh, a ton of snow. That, that's how much we have. Uh, <laughs> So uh, yeah, Bacon Pie's house has a generator, so uh, he's prepared, and definitely uh, a bit of a pain in the butt here. Very killing the mood in the entire thing. Her razor actually reporting you guys to EGF. Yeah, uh, right here. Her razor is actually going to be switching off to a different character. I don't know what they can do. They're going to need a second tank, the Centaur team. So yeah. All right, so this is going fine. So uh, I will say though, the snow is very nice. Like I have a a nice view in my room <laughs> of uh, two windows that goes out and they look out into the woods, and it's a one. Let me tell you that it's beautiful. Like, but the uh, the snow was very thick actually. Like I would look out and like it goes into a hill, so in between the trees you can see rocks. But today, with the amount of snow, it was like the trees just faded into a white abyss. Quite beautiful. You can see a photo of it at my Twitter at, at Gorka underscore man. If you want to do that. <laughs> and Foodie Memes leaves the game. I think that's because of my um, self-promotion there. Uh, definitely not, not a good look. Uh, let's get... Both teams trying to figure out what the heck is happening. The game's still paused. It's going to be like this for a while. Uh, no, they want me to play now. <laughs> On. No, I am not playing. No, I'm not playing it. <laughs> I'm in the middle of casting. I in the middle of ca I in the middle of casting. Well, it's over. GG. Oh wait, is this gonna be a forfeit? Which <laughs> there are literal hundreds of them. <laughs> That's true. We have Brookfield. We have. Uh, Bethel, obviously. Uh, what other town begins? Bridgeport, 
lot of, okay, yeah, we're, we're calling forfeit. So I think, okay. <laughs> this is a for, it's a forfeit. It's a forfeit. Falcons win. Congratulations. I just realized I made a mistake. The <laughs> Guardian, the Guardians. Centaurs, they win. The Centaurs win. Congratulations, the Centaurs. They managed to win the scrim. I mean, they were winning anyway, so like, I, I say it's fine. Uh, but yeah, that's a, whoa, whoa, this is, this is my face. It's in my face, okay. So yeah, I can fly through this. What's your stream? Uh, okay, one second, yeah. <laughs> oh, really Where are you YouTube? We're gonna be famous. Okay, I'm calling the casting over. The game's over. Uh, thanks to both the Falcons of Ludlow, Fairfield High School, whatever. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. And the uh, Centaurs of Woodstock High School for playing this game. And yeah, thank you very much. Have a nice day, everybody. So, see ya.